I'm drinking my tea and lemon and honey. I'm sick as a dog. And, and so is the stock market. It's sick. It's sick. It's sick. It fell 619 points today. First time under 11,000 since November. Uh, folks, do you want to know the problem? Let's just cut the chase and get right to it. In 2008, remember the banking crisis? The banking crisis. We have to bail out the banks. We have to bail out the banks. They're too big to fall. We have to bail out the banks. So where do they get the money? They got the money from your 401k. They got the money from, from the American taxpayers. And they bailed out Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae and uh, all of the big investment bankers. They bailed them out and bailed them out and bailed out. Chrysler and bailed out GE and bailed out everybody. And guess what? General Motors and General Electric, everybody got bailed out. And now it's time to pay the piper. Hey, Wall Street, come on over now to Main Street because we know exactly what you're talking about. We are sick and tired of the lies and the corruption and the greed and the shifting of the money, and the doctoring up of the financial balance sheets, and the, and the fancy auditors, and all of it's one big lie, the slush funds, the bailing this out, and bail that out, and hoping to be better. Folks, it won't get better. You can't go and print two billion, two trillion dollars. Just go print it like a monopoly. Throw it in the market. And think everything's, and then all of us hold hands on Wall Street and sing Kumbaya and think it's going to be okay. The Bible warned us of this very day. Folks, let me go on record. The black horse of the apocalypse is galloping down Wall Street as we speak. The market has fallen. Our rating has went down. The dollar is done. China doesn't want anything to do with us. How are we going to pay our debts? Our money that we do have is worthless. We're going to be slaves to the lender. Read your Bible. Revelation told us that the black horse would come. We don't care. We don't believe the preacher. Go ahead. Don't believe the preacher. Most of you, and I'm talking right to I'm not talking to my subscribers and my fans and those of you who are watching this video. I'm talking to the corrupt main right down the road, wall street investment bankers those lying scoundrels i'm talking to the congress and the senators all the way up to the white house i'm talking to everybody who gave out a prediction that by borrowing more would help take care of your problem folks that's like throwing gasoline on a burn unit that's like going in and finding somebody with pneumonia and piping in black smoke. I mean, what's going on? The black horse is here. He's galloping. Oh, Paul, no. Are you saying that this is the apocalyptic event that was prophesied in the Bible? Yeah, it's been out there a while. He's been galloping for a while. You just now seen him go by your house. You just saw him just go down Main, down Main Street. He's been in Main Street for quite a while. Now he's on Wall Street. He's going down Pennsylvania Avenue, folks. He's going right up the steps. Somebody, we're going to have to go and dust off the Marshall Plan. We're going to have to go back and restructure our debt like we did in 1945 after World War II and like we did after the Civil War. Now, when you do that and you bring everything down, the guys that's got a lot of money lose a ton. The guys that are broke like me and you we ain't got nothing anyway. And now the market can correct itself. But unless we do it, this nation will become slaves to the Chinese. You'll see the brown shirts walking around. They'll be knocking on your door and making you change your light bulbs. They'll be telling you, you've got two kids you can't have no more. They'll be locking your churches, taking away your Bibles, and pulling down your flag that's red, white, and blue. I know you don't want to hear it. You didn't want to hear it when I told you that the blackbirds were falling out of the sky. 
and when the fish were washing up on the shores. You didn't want to hear it when the cows were pitching over dead. You don't want to hear it when the lake is turning red in Texas and the droughts are the worst ever and the Mississippi River is overflowing and the tornadoes are ripping through the south in Tuscaloosa and Joplin, Missouri. You don't want to talk about the Yellowstone River in Montana flowing with oil. You don't want to ex explain to anybody that America, that's right, America has turned its soul over to the devil. And Paul, are we done? Put a fork in us? Is it over? No. Repentance is always the cure. Go read Hosea chapter 4, verses 1, 2, 3. Read what Jesus said. Except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. Somebody, please, get some guts in, in Wall Street. Somebody get some guts. And let's fix the problem. I'm Paul Begley. I'm sorry. To, I hate to break it to you. I know I'm going to... They'll probably write articles about me. Oh, the crazy pictures went nuts. He says the black horse is galloping. Well, look out there. I see him galloping by an eye of faith. I'm watching the black horse with the balances in his hands. And folks, it isn't good as he gallops down Wall Street in New York. Are you saved? Because I ain't putting my faith in the dollar bill. I'm not putting my faith in nothing but the Bible and the blood of Jesus Christ. He's coming, folks. Whether you like to hear it or not, whether you angry atheists like it or not, Jesus Christ is coming.